Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I wanted to do something with purple and blue and I was totally inspired by this eyeshadow right here. This is a Buxom palette that I created myself. They sell like single shadows on Sephora from Buxom and then I just created my own and put them in this Buxom palette. I'm using other eyeshadows in this video as well, but this eyeshadow right here is like a bluey purple iridescence. So pretty, totally inspired this whole look. And I really like how it turned out. Very fun and glittery, but really easy to do. There's no wing liner, no false lashes, and I actually love it. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my eyes and I'm using the eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Enigma by Urban Decay to prime my lids. Now I'm gonna take this Buxom eyeshadow. It is called Cashmere Craving, I believe, yes. Cashmere Craving, and I'm just using that to set down that primer. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in the shade Carnival all over my crease. Going back and forth and building up that color. Now I'm gonna take um, this highlight by the brand City Color. It's called Intense Exposure Highlighting Powder. And I'm using that underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going back into that fluffy brush and just blending things out. I'm gonna take a foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. This one is called Masquerade. It's such an intense, vibrant, purple eye. Love it. So I'm just applying that to my entire lid. And then I'm gonna go back in with Carnival on a smaller crease brush and just blend out the edges of that shadow. Now I'm gonna take this peachy brown called Invite Only. This eyeshadow is by Buxom, and I am buffing that into my crease, and then I'm going right back in with Masquerade and intensifying the color a bit because once you blend too many shadows in your crease, the lid shade kind of blends away. So I'm just going back in with that lid shade, and then I'm lightly blending out the corners. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to my face makeup. This is the NYX Do Me Up Primer. Very, very hydrating, perfect for dry skin. And then I'm gonna apply my foundation with a beauty blender sponge. This is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation and I'm in the shade Electric. I don't know how I feel about this foundation. I've been using it on and off for a few weeks and some days I like it, but some days I don't. I probably will not be repurchasing this. It's just not my favorite. Now I'm going in with some concealer and I'm gonna use this to kind of mask my dark circles, but also highlight different parts of my face. This is the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced, and I really, 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 really have been loving it. It gives me a nice medium coverage. I have concealers that have more coverage, but I just love the finish of this. It's a nice medium coverage and looks so healthy and natural on my skin. I love it. By the way, this isn't a beauty blender. This is a sponge from the brand Mascara. Okay, moving on. Now I'm gonna take my Real Techniques setting brush and I am dipping this brush into the NYC Loose Setting Powder and I'm setting everywhere I put that concealer on my face. Moving on, I'm gonna take this Giorgio Armani Liquid Summer Bronzer. This is shade number 10 and I'm using this sponge to just dab this on my forehead and on other parts of my face where I would normally add bronzer. Not so much to contour, but to just add some warmth to my skin. And then I'm gonna speed this up because I'm literally bouncing this thing for like 45 minutes in real time. It's insane. Not, I'm exaggerating, but I'm just bouncing the sponge and blending this into my skin. It gives a really nice natural tan look, perfect for summer. Now I'm moving on to this ColourPop highlight. This is in the shade Lunch Money, and I'm using this little Kiko brush to just apply this to the tops of my cheekbones. I'm gonna add some more bronzer to my skin. This is a bronzer by the brand Jouer. It's the shade Suntan. I love this bronzer. I've been using it nonstop since like January when I discovered it. Love how like thin it is and how easy it is to travel with and it just gives you a nice tan look to your face as well. I love it. Moving on, I'm actually gonna do the little baking thing. I never really do this, but I thought that maybe my bronzer was just a little bit too far down. So I'm taking that NYC powder and just applying that with my sponge and then I'm, I'm going on a little dance break because I wanted to wait a couple minutes before I took this off. Maybe like two minutes, nothing too crazy. I'm taking this blush by The Balm and I was so excited. This is the first time I was using it. This is called Balm Beach and it is the most beautiful, like pinky nude blush ever. I love it so much. I'm going back into that city color highlight that I used underneath my brow bone and I'm using this to highlight the cheekbones as well. 
Okay, so let's finish up these eyes. I'm taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Taboo, and I am just buffing this right on the outer corners of my eyes. I wanna add just a little bit of depth to that purple, just a little bit of smokiness right at the outer corners. Nothing too intense or too noticeable. I'm taking this Buxom eyeshadow in the shade La La Lavish, and I'm applying this to the inner parts of my eyes, not on the center, but a little bit more forward and closer to the inner corners of my eyes, just building up that color. I want it super, super intense and iridescent. I love it. I'm taking this Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color, and this is in the shade Ocean, and I'm using this to line my waterline. Any like baby blue, periwinkle blue will do. By the way, I'm so sorry that in certain clips my face looks warmer, like the clips are warmer in some parts than in others. It's something with my camera settings, I don't exactly know what's going on, but I just recently bought a new camera, so I'm very excited to try to upgrade, and hopefully this won't happen anymore. So anyway, for my lower lash line, I just pretty much use the same eyeshadows that I used on my lid, and now I'm going back in with Lala Lavish, and I'm using this on my inner corners and dragging it along my lower lash line as well. I'm gonna take this Heavy Metal Glitter by Urban Decay, this is in the shade Amp, and I'm just applying some of this right in the inner corners, and then I'm curling my lashes and applying tons and tons of mascara. For lips, I used the Morphe Cream Lip Polish in the shade Blush, and my lips were so dry this day, I'm so sorry, please ignore that. And then I used the Flower Beauty Lip Lacquer in Pink About Me on top. That completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my Ipsy bag. And bagging. It's late, right? It's like it's like the 21st of June. I'm so sorry this video is getting up late, but I don't get my Ipsy bag like on the same day every month. It like changes every month.